Welcome to the WorkMap Explainer video series. WorkMap is a no-code data management and workflow automation tool with spreadsheet simplicity. In this video, we will be covering a basic overview of WorkMap. So to create a new account or to log into an existing account, head over to our website at workmap.ai. Since I already have an account, I'm going to hit sign in and has all my information populated, then I can log in. WorkMap is organized by apps. These are the applications that you use to build and run your business. Each app is further organized by workflow tables, which have their own forms, reports, and automations. So currently we have two apps, the overhead app and the CRM app. If we wanna create a new app, we can actually do this in two ways. We can come over to the left here and click on this little app icon. This will bring this, this little panel out to the right, then we can select new app. We can also create a new app by coming over here to this big green button and selecting new app. So you have the option to create a new app from scratch or to use a template to create a new app. In this video, we're actually not going to create a new app. We're going to use an existing app and we're actually gonna use our CRM app and go into our deals workflow table. Workflow tables manage your data sets just like a spreadsheet with added benefits and a tabular data view. If you want to add a column to one of these tables, you simply come down to this little down arrow and select add a column to the right. Here you can select the type of data that you want to add. There's a lot of different options. Um, one that we think is really cool is the assignees where you can actually assign the record to another user in your work map. You can also easily create relations between workflow tables by using the link to workflow. So in a workflow, you can organize your tables into Phases. Phases are a perfect way to track a record's journey, whether it's through a status update or an approval process. So for example, here we have our deals and we're tracking it as we lead into the deal, as we make contact, the demo schedule, you know, all the way down to whether we close the deal, whether we won or we lost. Uh, to add a new phase, you simply can press this big green button up here on the right. We can use automations to set up workflow rules to help us manipulate our data and effectively move it through our phases. If we come up to the automations ribbon here, you can see that I have a lot of automations already created. These are simply automations that when I change the status of one of my records, it moves phases. If you want to create a new automation, you come up to the new rule icon. And making an automation is extremely easy. It's simply when this happens, do this. And there's a lot of different things you can do with automation. And it's something that we're going to get into deeper in further videos. But for example, you can have when a record moves to a different phase, you can have it send an email to a hiring manager. When a certain date slash time is met, you can move the record to a different phase. You can do a lot of different things with automation, and it's definitely one of the coolest features here on WorkMap. So now we're going to go over to our form section, and we're actually going to go to a different workflow to learn our form section. So we're going to head over to our company's workflow. Forms are used as a primary method for collecting new data along with records through the tabular data view. We can design a variety of different forms using our simple form editor. So in the form editor, if you want to add to your form, you have access to all of the row headings defined in your workflow table. So for example, if we wanted to add the company's email to this form, we simply drag and drop it in. If we wanted to put it at the bottom below address, we simply drag it down. It's very easy to use and to create forms. If you want to redesign it, you can use some of these cool features here. This is something that we're going to get into more in further videos. We can save our form. And the coolest thing about forms is how you can share them. So you can publish your form for public use. It will give you a link that you can then put on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. You can embed it in your company's website. You can really share it to anyone in the world, which is really cool and will help you gather a ton of primary data that you're looking for. 
So now we're going to learn how to use the last section, which is our reports section. And we're actually going to go back to our deals workflow to look at our reports. So the report section is very simple and you can use it to create as many reports as you would like based on certain requirements. So if we want to create a new report, we would come up here to the new report icon. So creating a new report is really easy. You can change the report name up here. You can add a condition and then you can come down here and drag and drop what you want displayed in your report. For example, let's say we want a report of all of our leads. We can name that leads and we can set our condition. So when the stage is in the lead in stage and then we can drag and drop what we want. We already have some selected. So let's just add the contacts name Oop, I missed and the contacts email. Then we can select create. And just like that, we have our leads report created. So those are our two leads. Then just like in forms, you can save your report here for future access, or you can share it to the public, which will create a URL, which you can share pretty much anywhere in the world. So lastly, we go into this lower left hand corner and we have our admin panel here. You can update your profile settings where you can change your username, your password, your little picture icon um, down here. You can manage the users in your work map. You can invite new users or you can change the permission of existing users. And lastly, you can log out of your account. So that's it for our basic overview of work map. As you can see, work map is very simple to use and very intuitive. If you want to learn more, check out our website at workmap.ai.